I've always kind of had this perception about drifting, and that is it's a little bit of a black art. Not everybody goes to drifting school. Yeah. They learn drifting in snowy parking lots. They learn it from a friend. They learn it on their own time. I think it's also one of those things that all enthusiasts go, I can drift, I'll just go out and right. figure it out. I'll be fine, right. I'll figure it out. I can figure it We're out. We're at Drift 101 today. We're gonna be taught how to drift. I mean, I know we've taken the FRS, we've put that on yeah. camera, shown you drifting with that. That's child's play. Today is, here's how you actually drift. That's why we're here. 240. <laughs> 240, exactly. And fresh, cheap tires. There's this, I feel like almost misconception that every auto journalist drifts. But it's something I'd like to have in my bag of tricks. Okay. I want to understand how to get the car out and leave it. Because what's happened with me with the time of doing the show is I always fight it. It's the initial sort of feeling that we're going to sort of embed in, in your guys' head that the moment the car starts to break loose, it's the moment and how you react to it is what we're going to start working on. That's a, that little half a second mm. as the car is rotating, what are you going to do? How are you going to respond to it? What are you going to allow the car to do? Sure, is what sure. we're going to focus on. Okay, cool. So all I've been asked to do is donuts. Now, honestly, because I pay for my own tires, I never do donuts. I take the FRS out, I'll leave a parking lot sideways. That's kind of fun. The entire thing Naoki wants me to do here to start this is, is literally come to a stop, crank the wheel, and just go left. So we're hard left. Why am I adjusting the rear view mirror? Let's put Todd in here. Sounds good. This is all sort of exercises that help lead into other ways of drifting, whether it's an e-brake or a clutch kick. So the more accurate you are with understanding the moment the tire breaks traction, the easier it's basically going to be for you to start drifting from here on. So let's try a counter steer. We're still doing left-hand donuts, but now we want the back to come around enough for full opposite steering lock. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's donuts. How hard can this be? I really, really want to fix it. You manage to drop the, uh, the idle yeah. upon initiation or at least the steering wheel. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little curious why you're sort of looking on this way when you should be looking. I should be. You're right. I, but my instinct is as soon as it starts going this way, I should be correcting to go out. Sure. If we can fix it with the... Um, with a comb. Alright, give it a shot. Alright. I realize how how instinctual driving is. We talk about it all the time, but I realize how instinctual it is to want to do a certain thing even if it's wrong. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on, Todd. Not good, actually, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> okay, a um, couple things I noticed. Your posture sort of started shifting. It started looking a little different than yeah. when you were first doing the control donuts. Yeah, that's fair. So let's see if we can find that happy sort of medium where you're still relaxed. So uh, that was, what's the best word? Um, humbling? Let, let's start with that one. I want to correct it. I want to find myself a way out. So that's part of what's going on. And then as a result of that, I'm looking out of the donut. And the minute I look out of the donut, I automatically end up countering my way right out of it. So uh, here we are, we're started. We'll see, it can only get better from here. All right, so now I need to start with a cone, give it the, the clutch drop, and then drop down into the modulation range to start bringing the back end around and counter steer the other way, but I'm still going left. 
how much gas you apply and lift is going to affect how the car starts to strain out or oversteer. I'm very self-analytical right now. All right, here we go. That was interesting. I'm correcting the slide. I'm constantly wanting to get out of the slide. Hard left, rev the motor, dump the clutch. That felt pretty good. Starting to click, right? It's starting to click a little bit. Right? That, that felt, once you get it into the groove, then... Those are the moments. That yeah. I can sit here and explain to you all, but it's, <laughs> yeah. you know, it literally means get behind the wheel, get some practice in, and wait for that moment to, for it to click. Naoki's been great describing what we're supposed to be doing. There's some technique to start, but then past that, you've got to understand where the feeling comes in. So I'm, I'm uh, just sort of reflective right now and, and trying to be very um, analytical about what the car is doing, even though at some point you have to throw that out and just feel it. Meanwhile, Naoki had me back in the car to try again. Pretty much do exactly what Paul did. Okay. No pressure. <laughs> your last one I think your hands were just pretty much dead you didn't actually turn in and then just ended up letting the car drive away sure so don't okay. hesitate to turn in keep your eyes focused on your target and just steer around it all right good good thank you sir what's crazy is how I mean it's this way with lots of things in driving but it's crazy how as it starts to click you now it now becomes a feel thing began to feel graceful. I mean, it really clicked. Are you holding back on me? No. What was that? <laughs> what was that? I've been, my brain is now putting all of the pieces together at Are once. Are you serious? Yes. Yes, <laughs> because as I was as I was focusing, what you said the last time was was excellent for me. Because as I, I realized, as I was focusing more on eyes and throttle, I wasn't thinking about this as much. Okay. So now that I was getting throttle to, I've baffled you. Now that I'm getting, yeah. now that I've gotten to a place where throttle was making sense for me, <laughs> then I became okay. If that now knows what it needs to do, then what do I need to do here? Okay. You're you're right. I'd gone dead. I'd gone I'd gone dead here. I just. Wasn't that was thinking a about this. Strangest jump in like <laughs> improvement I think I've seen at least this year. That All was right. a strange one. Okay, that doesn't mean hey, that may be a fluke. But 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 what you just said about I mean I'd forgotten about steering. I'd forgotten about okay. steering at all. I was I was trying to do it all on the throttle. I was trying to get it countered and leave it there. But once I started playing with it, that was the piece I wasn't adding. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's um. All, all right. <laughs> Now we all just need to lay down. Well, here's a good test. Okay. If everything is sound, meaning that you're telling me that your technique is good, your steering is fine, your throttle is fine, show me right hands right now. Go right hand. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> wow.
done. And I got it. And it is that crazy car thing, or dancing, or skiing, or pick your sport. When you start to do it well and your body gets balanced, you feel that you're in the right place. And now you have a comfort level you didn't have before. That happened in the middle of that. It is one of the strangest experiences, but I'm thrilled. Since Todd had finally cracked it, it was time for me to do right-handers. Steering wheel fully cranked to the right. Give it full power, drop the clutch. All right, for a first try, getting there, getting there. All right, a little bit cleaner this time, a little bit more thoughtfulness. actually really fun. <laughs> I'm wondering if because our natural inclination was to ride out a slide, even if we do a 180, but we're straightening things out, I'm wondering if figure eights are going to be easier now because that's the next step is figure eights and a slow progression. But now I feel like both Todd and I, things are clicking. I keep being surprised by is that I'm actually not applying enough throttle. There's so much throttle modulation, but it's so much higher in the pedal travel than I expected. And I was surprised at how close these cones are. I expected this to be a much larger exercise, but something about it being small here, it's all first gear, so many things are happening at once, but it is an exact building block of where we were earlier. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I'm a, little, I'm a little jittery right now. I'm, I'm, there's a lot of adrenaline pumping at the moment. This is awesome. I had the benefit of all the analytical knowledge at this point, and no experience. Okay, do I have a cone in my teeth? Exiting a turn heavy on throttle. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
try one more. So we're putting it together and I've had some good transitions there, some really good ones, but then when I give it too much throttle, come and snapping that pendulum around, I'm, I'm overcompensating at this point. So on one hand, then I put one of the things I learned, I do the, that really well and then I forget about the other thing. So when I, when I start putting it all together is when I had some good runs. Now that we had the feel of it, Naoki had less to teach and more ways to challenge us. First, the drifting we all expect a handbrake-induced 180. Now, keep in mind that if you're coming in at a certain radius towards the turn, I want you to exit out the same radius. Okay, all right, I'm trying this again. That was it. Once you initiate or get the car to pitch sideways, sort of modulate, mm. let it nurse, let mm. it slide out to where you want to go. This is no fun at all. It's no fun at all. Why are we here? Why are we doing this? But then came the ultimate challenge, combining every exercise we learned during the day. A 180 tightening down to a figure eight and out. And on his first attempt, Paul demonstrated his impressive cone delivery procedure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Different version of a donut, that's all it is. Okay. Bear claw. I overthought it yeah. a lot. I tell my students this all the time, don't let the brain get in the way of you having fun. And I really? keep forgetting that because I want to get the technique down so much. It's kind of strange how drifting works, right? It's you know really what? strange. First you of all, it's not drifting and it's not about cars, it's about a sociological experiment. It's, it's all psychology. It's really. psychology, really. Uh, it doesn't help that I keep throwing these new... Twists. Yeah. So, uh, welcome to drifting. Trying to get the exercise right, yeah. along with doing it, you know, then, then feeling it is, I think, the, the biggest hurdle for me right well, now. I find that it's very information heavy, but it's information heavy that gets you to a point where you feel it. And once you feel it, you can almost drop the information. The information that's a good, like good like way of looking at it. Walking you to what you need to feel, and then you feel it and you go, oh, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Not very cleanly. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty ugly. A little bit more, yeah, stay sideways. Okay. It's all a hint of understeer, so. Yeah, I agree with you. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. you make a beautiful cone. <laughs> so much fun, man. Perfect. So much fun.
today was a sociological, psychological, Absolutely. deep into the human you, psyche. What you're saying Experiment. sounds completely ridiculous. It does. It does. But here's the thing. Naoki that runs it is like a Yoda of drifting. I'm not kidding. But he changes his information. Actually, I thought a lot. Mm -hmm. Because I'm listening to what he's telling you and I think, okay, that sounds good. But that doesn't apply to my driving style. The stuff he says is for you and you alone. Yeah, and he's, and he's figuring out from your driver's strengths and what he's seeing you do wrong. And there's so yeah. much about throttle going on here that it's insane. And of course, you and I are now experts. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're, no, we're not there. We're barely starting. Day one, and we'll have to come back. But here's the bigger thing is that if you really want to learn how to drift, you won't believe how informative this is. Yeah. The information is shocking. The cars are here. The tires are here. Come. Thank you.